Hi, I'm back with another vlog. Today I'll be talking about former club kid Cynthia Gitsi Hataja. So if you are not familiar with who Gitsy is, I will put a card up in the top right corner that has a link to the profile video that I did on her previously. So the first thing that I want to share with you is a quote from the book Chemical Cowboys, the DEA secret mission to hunt down a notorious ecstasy kingpin by Lisa Sweetingham. The book was about the investigation that would become the Peter Gation trial. It says, quote, Alec described Gation's hotel parties in vivid detail as if reliving his glory days. He told them about how he and his best friend, a pretty bleached blonde named Cynthia Hataja, aka Gitsy, would rip off the king-size bedsheets and build a teepee in the living room. He and Gitsy would huddle in tight under the crisp white sheets. So it is well documented that Gitsy and Michael Alec frequented Peter Gation's drug parties. Gitsy spoke in the Party Monster documentary about one of Peter Gation's drug parties that both her and Michael Alec had attended and Michael Alec had a drug overdose at the event. Here's a post from Michael Alec's Twitter page. One of the last pics I received in Peru of my friend Gitsy, who died of an overdose in 1997. Gitsy passed away in Astro Earl's apartment. And then one more thing that I want to share with you today is an article that I've shared previously, but it's on Oh No They Didn't, and it's a rare interview with Michael Alec. This is while he is still in prison. The article is from 2010. So the interviewer, Bolin, asks, What about the other club kids? Not even Angel, but some of your closer friends and accomplices who didn't make it or who got lost in drugs. I guess I'm thinking about your friend Gitsy, Cynthia Hataja, who died of a heroin overdose in 1998. Alec responded, I vacillate sometimes. I feel slightly responsible, and sometimes I feel completely responsible. No one is responsible for my drug addictions, you know. People have to take their own responsibility, but I was older than they were, so I feel like I should probably have been a much better role model than I was. So one of the things that's interesting to me is that Gitsy was one of the people who was a potential witness in the Peter Gation trial. Now, Gitsy passed away before that happened, and there were several other potential witnesses who, for one reason or another, ended up not being allowed to testify. So I think there's definitely more to this story, but probably in order to get further on her, I'm definitely going to need to look further into Peter Gation and what went down with his trial and what went down at the limelight. But that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. I want to thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video. Uh, thanks for all the support, the likes and the comments, and you can feel free to check out some of my other playlists. And if you haven't subscribed already, you can do so by clicking the kitty if you're interested, and I will see you guys again for my next vlog.